What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and we are back with another episode of Split. Now if you guys don't remember what happened in the last episode, um, we found out that there is a traitor among us and without really saying any words we found out that there was a traitor. However, Faye did plant a necklace that belonged to our girl Miss Raz um, into the town hall so we would all go hunting for it and we could all stumble some clues together to figure out who boss is and who has us captive. Um, we went with Faye, I believe, um, to find out who it was, um, even though our girl Miss uh, Cara, Kara, Kara doesn't know um Kiara Kiara it's a lot of names y'all Kiara doesn't exactly know that it was fake but we went with her to see if we could get more information um we found the necklace on our first try <laughs> boom and you know um Arjun discovered that it is a woman and they are somewhere between the ages of 18 and 25 so we know that there's someone in close age of us um and boss was watching and was like oh yeah you want to go against me which is a bad move so we know that things are about to get rough for our gang here but they are now trying to figure out who this is and how they're going to get the hell out of here and what they want from them but anyway guys let's just jump into the episode and see what is the tea oh man i'm really tired Hey, Radica, Faye, do you guys want to come with me to the beach? Hey, why aren't we included? It's a girl's night, Daniel. The rest of you don't look like girls to me. Suit yourselves. And the girls are off to the beach. I felt the cool ocean breeze hit us as we walked to the coast. The beach is the only place I feel calm where I can collect my thoughts. So what now? Now we enjoy each other's company. Take a break. I agree. We all need to take a breather. I can't believe this. We're on day three and we still don't know how to escape. I've never felt this dumb in my whole life. I know it sucks. Guys, look at the positives. We figured out the boss is a woman. Oh, what are we basing that off? A necklace? Puck, please. If this person can find a goddamn empty town, make us do crazy things, bring all of us together from different places, I'd say they're freaking... They're pretty freaking planned with everything. They would have kept that necklace there on accident. Everything is down to throw us off. And they like being controlled. So they know everything about us. Even our deepest, darkest secrets. And that sucks a lot. I'm sorry. I was just trying to be optimistic. No, I'm sorry, Faye. I shouldn't have taken it out on you. Oh, yes. What the? I figured it out. Wow. Who would have noticed if you paid a little attention to our conversation? Oh, yeah, sorry. I zoned out. But I think I figured out what to do. Do tell. Enlighten us, Buddha. So you know how you said that they know everything about us, including our deepest, darkest secrets. Since it's causing so much tension between us, why don't we confess to each other? We have to be strong as a team. And we can only do that if we don't hide anything from each other. That sounds like a good idea, I guess. Uh, don't think, don't you think that's unnecessary? Hmm, she's, the second time she sounds shady. Let her know you suspect her, but don't say anything. Call her out. You don't trust us all. Uh. <laughs> just call her out right here. Bitch, it's you. Um, no, we're just, we're just... We're just suspicious. Look, that's all it is. Oh, and we got two points. I think the plan is good. Unless there's something else. No, I don't think so. She looked at me, her eyes begging me to not say anything more. I gave her a reassuring nod. Guys, I think reality is hitting me only now. Four days ago, I was peacefully watching Barbie movies with my niece. And now I'm stuck in an empty town. Why choose us? Yeah, why us? We don't know each other. We have to figure out that connection Boss was telling us about. Yeah, that's a good idea. We should do that. Until then, let's talk about happy things. I need a distraction. And Faye, you have to spill the tea about Chris. Do you two know each other? I don't know, nothing like that. You don't have to be so shy around us, Faye. We don't snitch. 
Well, we were the first ones in the airport. We had so many things in common. We just went from there. That's so cute. I just hope that after we get out of here, we can continue exploring whatever we have going on. I don't want it to be like we're just comforting each other for now. Like some sort of twisted island fling, you know? Uh, poor, poor thing. Discourage her. Boost her confidence. Boost her confidence, baby. We, we all got to be confident out here to, you know, before until we get out. Don't worry. Don't worry so much, Faye. I'm confident that he'll be good to you. Just take care, all right? I fully support. Thank you. This really means a lot. Okay, now my turn. So there was this time when I... Okay, so the girls are having their little girls moment. They're, you know, talking, talking about happier times, happier things. And now we're back to the boys. Hey, Chris, you still have to tell us what's the deal with Faye. Do you like her or what? I kind of do. I don't know. I kind of do. I mean, it's very obvious the way he went crazy when she got kidnapped. Yeah, I think I like her. She's in the medical field, too. So we have so much in common. She's very easy to talk to. Aww. When you love someone, you open your heart. When you love someone, you make room. I did not sign up for this. Oh, God, Daniel, I don't love her. When you love someone, I don't know the song. I'm just making stuff up. I don't love her. I'm going to use the restroom. Don't get lost. I'm not 12. So, Chris also... Ooh. So, Chris also feels the same way about Faye. So maybe our gang will get together when we get out, hopefully, fingers crossed, because maybe they all actually will end up at the same university and be together. But who knows? But anyway, I'm mean, having seen this part of town hall. Must have come the wrong way. How do I go back to the pool room? <gasps> oh, girl, not Kristen got got. Oh, Lord. Hey, show yourself, coward. Switch on the lights. I'm here now. Oh, boy, I'm going to enjoy this. If you show strong, speak to me without your voice modifier. Show me your face. Oh, dear Chris, I'm afraid things don't work like that. The food in the supermarket is getting worse and worse. You won't have the stomach to eat it anymore. What are you talking about? I mean that literally. You won't have the stomach to eat anymore. Oh, oh. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris. That's not an awful lot like Chris. We have to help him. Leo, set up a room for Chris to rest in. Oh my God, he's bleeding. Don't worry, we got you. Stay with us, buddy. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. He's bleeding. What the hell happened? I don't know why I became British all of a sudden. We have no first aid kit, so we're just going to have to clean him up for now. I think he was kicked and punched several times in the stomach. And with the full force, that's why there's slight blood. The wound isn't too gash, but I'm afraid he won't be able to eat or even get up for a while. And they said that he ain't going to be able to eat or nothing for a while. His core muscles will be on fire if he tries to get up. Oh, God, that's horrible. That stupid boss. I'm going to kill her when I see her. Calm down, Leo. We're still not sure if they're a woman or not. She is. I trust my detective skills. We, we kind of trust Arjun, too, so maybe. But I won't be so sure. Well, it's a good thing I'm not you, then. Hmm. Can you both stop fighting for one second? I think we should go to the room where Chris was beaten up at and see if we can catch boss. Ugh, finally, one sensible idea from Tiger. Oh, poor Chris. I can't see anything. Switch on the lights, Daniel. Oh, it's like an archive room of sorts. Do you think the... We'll find something in here like that photo. Maybe. It's worth a shot. Ooh. You got to be kidding me. Really, boss? That's the best you got? I'm guessing they're locked in. Yep. Yeah. 
just leave Daniel it's of no use. If my phone had charged, I would have called the girls. My phone is gone. What? Mine too. Mine as well. I'm this close to killing boss myself. Calm down, Arjun. It's not worth it. What do we do now? Search the room. Break the door open. I mean, you might as well search the room. Like, you're in there. So you might as well see if you can find something. Uh, and then break the door down. I think we should search the room now that we're locked here anyway. Exactly. We should look for something. Anything. Which can lead us. Use as leverage against boss. You're right. Let's go. Child, one of them should have stood outside. Nothing here except old files. I think there are files of citizens who once lived here from the year 1895. Where the hell did Boss find this place from? Guys, I think I found something. This place, this was placed randomly. Like, someone was in a rush to hide this. Which means we were never supposed to find this. Look at you, plain detective and all. Come, look at this. After this message, top the screen when you're done. Dear E.K., we're finally going to be together, my love. I've had good news. Love, Rose. Yes, we're done reading. Who the hell is Rose now? The big question is, who is E.K.? This is just too confusing. So many things. There are a woman. We got a Rose now. We got an E.K., Tiger, are you okay? I, I'm claustrophobic. I need to get out. Oh my god, Raz, stop it. The girls are here. Kiara, Radica, Faye. Remind me why we're going through this creepy hallway. The other road isn't safe at night, that's why. Yeah, at least we're on the inside here. Radica, girls, help us. That sounds like the boys. It's coming from that room. What the hell happened? Why were you stuck in there? We'll explain everything soon, but thank you, girls. I hope they're okay. Me too. Let's go back to our rooms. It's been a weird day. When isn't it weird? True. <gasps> what was that? C can we get out of here, please? Run! Is it complete? Of course it is. Do you doubt my capabilities? Never. Now, let's plan the next activity. Don't you think we're going too soft on them? Oh, this is just the beginning. Good, good. Whose turn is it tomorrow? Tomorrow's victim is Daniel Knight. Ooh, the evil laughed. So it is two of them. Um, a man and a woman. So for them... So they figured out that it was a woman for one of them and then a man for the other. Um, This is a bonus scene on how Daniel and Faye met. We can see, not Daniel, Chris. How Faye and Chris met. However, we don't have the gems for it and I just don't want to. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's all that I have for you today. Um, Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of course, um, yeah, that's all that I have for you today, of course, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, like I said before, I'll see you guys in the next video, bye!